Hello, this is Reverend Gary Kennedy with today's Spot of God. I want us all to think a little bit about uh, the approaching um, new year. As we uh, set goals and resolutions, we, we talk about this every year, setting goals. We want to lose weight. We want to exercise more. We want to learn a new language, so on and so forth. But I want to make one, one point, is, and that is to take the Christ of Christmas and Advent that we just looked at and and grew with and understood that God wants to be more real and uh, in our lives, in our hearts, and in in what we do. And so I want us to apply that to the new year ahead, rather than just the work with the calendars. Because if you're like me, so many times those resolutions went unfulfilled. Sometimes those goals were sidetracked and other priorities took place, and then we become disappointed. Let's not depend on our, our own willpower and, and self-determination, but let's involve God in our lives. Uh, Henry David Thoreau once said uh, this. He said, things do not change, we change. And and. And we won't change unless we allow God to do some changing in us, improving, bringing the joy and happiness and peace of Christmas, uh, and apply that to the year ahead. Christ is there for all of us. I, I once uh, read about an interview between Cecil B. DeMille and a Christian uh, evangelist, and DeMille said this when asked about why he didn't rep reproduce the, the silent picture about Jesus called King of Kings, why he didn't years later reproduce it with sound. And he, he said this, that he, he was reluctant to do that because 800 million people watched the silent picture and, and had a sense of Jesus from that picture. And he thought, well, if I add sound to it, what kind of voice or accent will Jesus have? If I give Jesus a southern accent, then people from the north will identify. If I give Jesus a northern accent or a, an accent uh, from overseas, then people might not uh, relate. And he did not want that to be a barrier because there is no barrier with Jesus. Uh, we know from scripture, we know from experience, we know from Christmas that Jesus was born for all people. And whether it was uh, shepherds, uh, common folk, or royalty, Jesus came for all people. So, let us approach our new year with the Christ who identifies with us that we can identify with also. Let, no hesitations. Jesus isn't out there just for grandma or just for the pastor or just for the Sunday school teacher. Jesus is there for you and for me to take our hand and help us to have a more prosperous year ahead. Let's try that, and I think you'll be satisfied. May God bless you.